Right now on 13 Action News live at 630, the latest on today's terror attacks in Brussels. Our team coverage continues with 13 Action News reporter Masa Saidi. Masa is live in Santa Clara, Utah, the home of one of three Mormon missionaries injured in the attacks where she spoke with friends of that person and has an update. Masa. Ricky, Steve, friends, family, neighbors, everyone we spoke with in this tight knit LDS community says Joseph MP is calm and cool characteristics that definitely came in handy today. Above all else, they say he's passionate about his religion. Every day they're out there knocking on doors and, you know, trying to tell them, tell them the word. Mormon missionaries on assignment in Paris, three from the U.S., one from France. This morning they were inside Brussels International Airport in line for about two minutes when there was an explosion. A lot of chaos going on. There was people yelling and he heard just all sorts of sounds. Images moments after the deadly attack, smoke, debris, people running for their lives as emergency crews descend to two locations. A man on the ground, loved ones crying in the streets. Joseph M. His best friend telling 13 Action News how the 20 year old jumped into action. He was looking for the sister missionary and his companion and he was able to get up and help them. When the adrenaline faded, the pain set in. Shrapnel in both of his legs burns to his face, head, and arms. He then realized he couldn't walk and he had to lay back down and wait for help to come to him. And tonight he is out of surgery. The family hoping he's full recovery. Right now, they're determining when they are going to go out there and get to see him. We're going to have all of the interviews posted on our website at ktmv.com with family, friends, and neighbors. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News. Right.